So hi, today we're going to discuss on reconnaissance, how we can actually get our information from enterprise website through their domain names, through who is. So it's really important for us to gather as much information as we can before we actually go on an active attack. So many times you can get many email addresses, you can get all kind of enterprise information of the target. Once you do your homework, you'll be able to navigate through and maneuver around a certain obstacles. It will make active attack much easier. You can find out the usernames. You can understand what are the subdomains. You can see and crawl between different sites within the target machine. And you'll be able to, in a way, map out passively what are some of the critical information. And so for today, we're just going to use Recon NG that will help us unmap some of the, map out some of the items within the target machine that we're looking to, to go offense on. Okay, so as mentioned earlier, we'll be using Recon NG to help us reconnaissance on the website, on the domain, on the company information. So you can CD to, if you're using a version of Color Linux, you can CD to USR, share, and under Recon NG. And of course, over here, we are in the folder of Recon NG. So what we got to do is just got to boot up Recon NG and enter some commands for us to start reconnaissance on the to start reconnaissance on the target machine. So the first thing we can do is dot slash recon ng, and this will boot recon ng over. So I'm using your slightly dated version, and we just have to enter a no check. So this would boot recon ng up actually, and we can see over here we have different commands that we can use to understand more about what we can do with it. So as a start, we will use the command workspaces and we add the workspace followed by the company name. So I'm just gonna enter my name that we're gonna do reconnaissance on. And of course, I gotta add the domains. And of course, this is my own personal site. And it's really important that you have permission for the sites that you are trying to gain information on. As in some states or in some countries, it can be illegal. So this is my own site, um, and I have given permission to myself to find out more information about my site. And you'll be surprised sometimes on your own site, you may find certain vulnerabilities or certain subdomains that shouldn't even be there. So we shall now add the company, and I'm just going to enter my name as the company. So if you're doing it for a client, again, that will be very important for you to enter in properly. What are the company name, the details that you're working on? You could be working on multiple projects at the same time, so it's important for you to have tidiness and cleanliness when it comes to organizing how you want to put your data. So, of course, the first tool we're going to use within Recon NG is Recon Domain Host slash Bing. So we're going to use Bing to help us find out more information about the domain that I've specified. And then you just enter run, and this would execute a command. So we already use Bing to help us search on the website and this will give us information of the site. And of course the next one we can do is use recon domains host. And of course this time around we're gonna use brute host. And then same thing, you just have to enter run. And this would help us check the different subdomains within the the site. So we can see over here that there are many, many subdomains or potential subdomains that we can find. And on my own personal record, I understand that there is, there should be no subdomains at all within this site that I've created for the past uh, over few years. So what we're trying to do is really trying to understand if there are certain uh, direction or certain directory subdomains within the site that we can actually, that we need to work on later on as well, not just having to target the main domain. So subdomains are going to play a pretty important role in for us to get more information of the clients or the enterprise other organization that we're trying to target against. And sometimes, you know, administrators could just create a subdomain for a temporary work. And all of a sudden, when they, they forget to remove the subdomain and they left it there, and it could make it very vulnerable to certain kind of attacks, cross-site scripting, SQL injection, and the likes. So understanding what are subdomains within the main domain is exceptionally important for us to firstly understand the scope of the project and to also understand what are the areas that we should look into and what are areas we should not look into. 
So now we've completed the scanning of the subdomains within the site. So moving forward, we can use other tools like Netcraft to help us find out more information as well. So we can do use recon host host followed by Netcraft and then always oh, invalid module name use recon host oh sorry domain host netcraft and then you enter run so again we're using different kind of search engines to help us understand more about the site more about the domain more information to get more information on the domain it's all going to be very useful later on when we start to do more active attacks so the next thing we can do is also recon host host followed by reverse resolve so this would actually resolve all the IP addresses to the host name or domain names and then we just have to enter run of course there are no inputs for this because we understand it's only one domain name that we have entered so moving forward we can also use recon domains dash contacts slash who's POCS so this would actually help us find the email addresses from the who's lookup. So we can detail out the email addresses from this particular domain site. And of course we have recon domains dash contacts PGB search. So this would actually look through the public PGB store for email addresses as well. So the whole goal for us is to really find out all the email addresses for each of the domain name that we are trying to search gains. And then, of course, we can also use recon contacts credentials followed by HIPB underscore pace. So this will actually check all of the email accounts that we have gathered so far against a website. And the website actually put in all the potentially leaked password that we might be able to use against all the different kind of users or email addresses that we have. So like I said earlier, we have not gotten any email addresses from all the information that we've tried to gather. And of course, the next, the last step that for us to do is actually just to use, to use reporting HTML. So you enter set creator, who's the creator of this particular report. So of course it's my name and I set the customer. And of course, the customer depends on the enterprise or the target that you are checking against. So again, it's good to note down their names and to run. And of course, the report has been generated. So we can exit the, the recon ng and we just use Firefox to open up slash root dot recon ng workspaces followed by results.html. And of course, this would boot up the Firefox reporting on this particular site that we have done so of course over here we have a summary report of the number of domains companies net blocks location etc so if you're doing for a big enterprise you're going to see a lot more information over here and because my site is just one single site that doesn't really have a lot of information that just simply is information digestive so you're just not going to see a lot of this important or sensitive information over but however you know if you were to look at big enterprises that has thousands of employees chances are you're gonna find a list at least hundreds of emails hundreds of usernames on the site and many subdomains that you can actually start actively scanning against okay so from the demonstration of recon ng we see how easy it was to actually gather information through some of the very automated tools there are many other tools out there as well that we can use to find out more information about the target enterprise or the target organization. So there's a lot of questions to ask as well. What can you do to secure and to hide some of the important information that your enterprise hold? How do you make sure that your, your items, your activities are not known onto the internet? They're not publicly available so that you can slow down the, the active attack or to ensure that there's some information simply unavailable to, to the attackers. So you make life harder, you prolong the, the attacks, and you secure different parameters within your, your environment. So what can you do? I think those are really good questions for you to, to ponder about, for you to think about uh, over the next, in the future, and, and just really think about how do you want to secure and make sure that your enterprise data are all properly, privately held.